It is Gordon Bennett TV Sunday morning. I love this bit. The morning after the launch, we've all rested a little bit, not a lot actually, and we've got the balloons in the sky and we can start to see what's happening. Thomas Orr is in the studio with us. Big friend of, big friend of Mercedes. <laughs> we had to get that in for him. And you're looking after three teams, aren't you? You're looking after USA 1, Germany 2 and Austria 2. That's correct, yes. I'm looking for three teams. They are befriended. So it's easy to, to do the chat. We are on one channel. USA 1 has landed, as you can see in the tracking. Um, and um, they're, they're doing quite well. Germany uh, 2 and Austria 2 are right now dancing the thermic tango, as we call it. <laughs> We've got a picture of uh, USA 1 on the ground. Let's have a look at that. 13 hours, 26 minutes and 54 seconds. There they are. There's uh, Mark and Sherry and um, a helper in the background. Not quite. Chase? That's a Chase crew. Who is it? Do you know? Nice. Nice. Fantastic. So 341.09 kilometers. And uh, this was their strategy, wasn't it? This is what they were doing. It was their strategy. They actually wanted to go even closer to the border, but uh, it, there was su such a good landing field, everything. So they decided, hey, let's let's get down here. <laughs> yeah. Currently in the lead, we've got Austria 1, just over 400 kilometers. Might sound a lot to people, but you know, in a Gordon Bennett race, it's thousands of kilometers sometimes. It can be, it can be. It can be also in this race, um, or it can be the winning distance. Even, um, I'm not sure whether this will be the distance which will win or the other. We will get to the strategies later on, but um, this could be the winning distance. Let's have a look on the screen there. We can see the big red border. That's where they can't go past. Yes, yeah, so if I can take that so I can. So um, there was basically in the beginning two strategies, staying around here and uh, going to the Ukraine-Polish uh, border, which uh, three teams did, Poland three, Austria one and uh, USA. Um, Austria one really, really nailed it down here really nicely. And the other teams kind of hang around here. And now these two teams uh, are again split in what I think two strategies. Uh, I'm not sure because I'm not in contact with the other balloons. But there's the one strategy to hang out here to later on get to, towards Germany. And I, I think these two guys are now trying to hit for the Baltic Gate, uh, which is uh, um, uh, maybe possible as well. Um, nevertheless, the longest distance is if you get to the west. That Baltic Gate, that's why we're here. That's what got us here back into Poland with the Polish win back in Bern, wasn't it? Yes, it was. They really nicely went right in the middle to the Baltic Gate and won, won the race by that. You think we could get that win? We could get that West win, which is going to take them up that way? Yeah, there, there, there are some models who suggest that. Um, and it is possible. The only thing why I'm uh, so skeptical a little bit about it is uh, because you will hit not the gate like this, uh, but you will hit it like this. So, so you will be at the Belarus border quite, quite quickly after that in, in Lithuania, which won't give you a, a longer distance than this here. Yeah. Wow, so that 400 and change kilometers it's all to play for, isn't it? I mean, that could actually be the win. That could be the win. That could be the win, especially if the Germany strategy won't work out, which is very uh, probably. It's a 50-50 strategy. Let's have a look at the wins, actually. We can put some uh, wind context in it. I'll give you the microphone back and uh, yeah. take it away, Tom. So, so as you can see, this is the ground wind here. And the ground wind uh, suggests, if you see this dark blue, this dark blue means no wind. So there will be no, or there is no wind right now. That's the reason why the balloons are not waiting. The reason they are waiting here is they are waiting for this fast uh, wind to the west to move into Poland. This is moving into Poland. So they have to, to wait. And the, the farther they are to the, to the west already or to the north, the sooner they get into the wind, which is, uh, which is advantages for them. The further you are in the east, the later you get in the wind and, uh, and your turn will be sharper. So you won't make the big distance. The big distance is made who is the, the, here you can see it very nicely. So if you are located somewhere here uh, this evening, um, you don't get anywhere. Why, when you're located here, you will be uh, pulled over to Berlin. Very good. Have you ever thought about a job in um, TV weather? You're very good at that. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, no. I have a good job at Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> with a good job with them. Um... No, no, not, not with them, but with them. OK. <laughs> We um, will come and have a look at some weather in a minute, but first of all, let's have a look at a video we got a little bit earlier with, it was France 2 with Eric and Benoit. Hello, good morning for France 2, Benoit and Eric. Good morning. We are happy to say that uh, it's a beautiful weather, quite nice. The night was very easy. We flew low and we enjoyed the, 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 the landscape. 
What is interesting, in the morning there was a lot of windmill and in the first part of the flight, around five, six o'clock, we were slaloming in between uh, uh, some windmills. Uh, some of them were higher than us and we were very uh, uh, cautious about that, but that was fine. Uh, as probably all, over the, uh, all the other teams, uh, nothing corresponded to our expectation. We were supposed to fly in one direction, we all flew in another direction. Uh, the, the NOAA, GFA or Meteo Blue uh, standards are not corresponding, as you probably saw, and I guess all the pilots uh, are, are expecting the same. Um, there was a moment this morning which was very funny. We were six or seven balloons very close. We even had the French one balloon uh, almost close to speak. We have seen another balloon, a Swiss balloon, below us. So. Uh, for the moment, very, very difficult to see at, or to say what's going to happen, except the three balloons who are going to land uh, in Poland, close to Belarus and Ukraine, uh, probably this morning. So, we will see. Bye-bye. See you. Always good to hear from uh, from Eric and Benoit. It is, it is. They are so fun, guys. I like them a lot. He had a bit of an issue getting here. He had a blowout on the motorway with his tire. Did you see that? I didn't see it, but there were multiple teams having issues coming here. So uh, Gerald, the Austrian one, had a broken axle on his uh, trailer. So it was it was uh, the first challenge for some teams to get here. If, as if COVID was enough. We've got other things as well, mechanical problems. Let's have a look at the um, the weather map. We have, we've got some uh, things to look at there, Tom. And may maybe thank you very much. Um, so maybe some of you are asking, so why is not everybody flying to Germany since it's yeah. the longest distance? You know? And uh, the reason being is this low pressure which is hanging around over Germany. This low pressure uh, generates a, a, a mouthful of thunderstorms and, and showers, which is a very unstable weather. So, so what you need to try is to surpass this weather to the north in order to stay clear of these thunderstorms. But there is the next thing, you know, not if that is already difficult enough, in the north of Germany, there is from tomorrow on a NATO military exercise, which is called the Baltic Hunter. And this Baltic Hunter exercise um, will also limit our airspace there. So it is, that's why I say, I don't, I'm not really sure if it's re the, the distance of Gerard may be the winning distance, not because they won't be, I, I think there will be teams which will surpass the low to the north, but whether they will get also through that military exercise, that's a big question. Wow, incredible. There's, there's a lot going on, isn't there? There really is a lot going on. We spoke to Germany 1 and Andreas Zamod a little bit earlier. Let's have a look at our chat with them. All right, Germany 1, join us from In The Basket. Very good morning to you, my friends, Andreas. Morning. Morning. How was your night? Oh, fine. We doesn't sleep uh, because we are very low and we must look at the uh, windmills, etc., and uh, little hills. But it was okay and very stable the balloon. What is your current altitude? Uh, now we are only 400 meters uh, over the sea level um, because the wind is uh, better, but it begins a little bit to uh, be thermal. Balloons gets up and down because of the sun. The sun heats uh, the ground and then the terminal begins. Yes. Uh, we are, um, perhaps we go a little bit higher now. Tell me about the launch. Tell me about the takeoff last night. Oh, it was fine. Uh, Thomas uh, let us uh, climb slow. We want to, uh, many of the teams don't want to get high at the beginning and you see it in the live tracking. They all flew very low because the direction was uh, better and uh, only three teams go up and go to the southeast and they will, would, uh, I think they will land now in the next hour because of the uh, Ukraine and Belarus uh, border. Yeah. Not allowed to fly in. Well, currently in the lead, Austria won just over 400 and something kilometers. That's what we've got right now after the uh, the first night. I wonder what the prediction is going to be for our ultimate win, the ultimate distance. Would you like to take a guess? Yeah, I, I, but they must land. And now the, for, for them, for the teams, the race is uh, end today. Yeah. It's, um, and now the other teams... Like like us, look what the wind makes, and um, 
I think all the other teams want to go to the West now. And just tell me, can you see other teams around you at the moment? No. We Nobody can see uh, tonight, we can see a lot of teams uh, nearby. But uh, now we are uh, more east than the other teams. Uh, we go more to northeast. And um, yeah, we, we look at uh, when the wind will change in a few hours. It uh, slowly goes to the north and then to the west, I think. Your visibility looks amazing. Your uh, yeah. visible horizon. Fine, yeah. Oh. yeah, you can look. There's Axel. Morning, Axel. And... Hi. Hi. You must uh, look then the balloon when it uh, falls that we we'll get not on the ground, then we are disqualified. <laughs> yeah. How's the temperature where you are? It looks quite warm. You're in shirt oh, sleeves. I think it's uh, about 22 uh, degrees. It's warm. Yeah? We have short cl clothes. And uh, you see my <laughs> sun, Kepi. Yeah, keep that on. You don't want to get burnt too early. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Have, you, have you had a, a breakfast? Have you had some coffee? Well, we don't have coffee. It would be fine if it, <laughs> we had made a coffee this morning. But we eat a little bit and uh, we sleep a little bit. And now we go on. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. I hope you have a fantastic day. Watch out for those thermals and give us one last look around. Just pan your camera. So we can see your view of where you are right now. What a beautiful horizon. What a privilege to be in the sky on a morning like this. It's a balloon. Full. Looks amazing. Oh. Well, thank you. We'll it's catch up with you fun. a little bit later. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Bye. Bye. It's amazing that we can get content from the teams actually in the sky. Technology. That is technology. When I still was flying Gordon Bennett, we weren't able to do so. And the, the internet was way too slow. We were happy if we sent a picture. <laughs> How was the launch last night? It, my, my first impression was because we had this, this low podium as opposed to a higher podium. It, it, was, it was good to get the baskets on there, but it meant oh, everybody was on there as well. We had tens of people at some point. Yeah, it was a little bit difficult for the crowd control um, since it's uh, kind of dangerous if there's too many people and everybody's hanging off bags and putting things in out. So uh, we always kind of ask them to, to leave the podium and had only four on the, on the podium. But the podium was okay. <laughs> yeah, it went, it felt to me, it went very quick. Well, I, I, I try to get the uh, launch sequence quickly out uh, so that nobody can complain that he had a disadvantage or advantage to launching early or late. You know, if you if you pull that for two hours, it, it could change the weather a little bit. I know you were checking a couple of messages while we were in the video. Is there anything you can talk about or is it top secret stuff? Well, what I heard is that uh, Swiss 3 really goes for the strategy up to Lithuania. Uh, so uh, Swiss 3 is trying for the Baltic Gate. So good luck with that. Game on. Hey, Thomas, thanks for joining us, man. Sure, We're going to swap one Thomas for another Thomas. Mr. Fink, jury president's joining us. Very good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, good morning, Regan. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Had a good night. It was a brilliant launch yesterday. No work for me up to now. <laughs> what do you do as a jury president? I mean, I know it's one of those roles where it's standby, 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 then it can all go crazy. How How is it work? No, actually, it's the most important job here. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, so my mate, oh, one work I have to do in any case is to make a signature at the end on the final results. Otherwise, there can be no prize giving. And uh, we as jury, we have a, a six-page checklist of what we should to do. Of course, not everything can be done, but... Uh, Basically, we are here to assure a fair competition in, and to promote the sport. So in case uh, one of the competitors is not pleased with the result uh, the director give him or with the penalties he may get for something, then he can make a, a complaint to the director. And if the director refuses it, then he can make a protest, costs 100 euros, which Unfortunately, I will not get it. I have to send it to Switzerland at the end, but I have to collect it, and then we will have a jury hearing. It's a bit more complicated here, because of out of which reasons ever. My two colleagues in the jury are not on site, so we are in contact uh, via Zoom, how we learned to be in contact the last one and a half years, and uh, 
maybe we make a jury hearing so the president can say something and the competitor complaining can say something and then we have to to um, to write something and either um, withdraw or um, or the the protest uh, can be upheld and then the result has to be changed by the director very interesting we've got some beautiful pictures and images from uh, overnight let's have a look on the screen here Thomas and you can talk us through what we're seeing yeah that's the bottom of an envelope and that's not from the night that's obviously the morning I think with the fog really nice pictures and uh, sometimes I would like to be in the air in these uh, perfect weather conditions beautiful uh, fog there on the ground yes that's how I that's like uh, 50 years ago nothing changed in these pictures <laughs> yes. and if I if I make a balloon flight uh, from Augsburg, Germany, where I learned uh, to fly balloon, then sometimes the Lech Valley looks exactly the same. Yeah. And uh, tell me, uh, is it eight Gorda Bedit flights you've had? I had eight flights, but nine participations, because unfortunately in Paris, uh, the weather conditions did not allow a takeoff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, do you miss it? Yeah, I, I would very much, uh, I, I was uh, very much looking forward to a launch in the middle of Paris in the night uh, next to Tour Eiffel. Um, but sometimes it works, sometimes not. So we are really dependent on weather. Yeah, we are indeed. Thanks for joining us. I do appreciate it. The game is on. The 64th Coup Aeronautic Gordon Bennett continues. We've got one team, Team Austria 1, down at the border, just over 400 kilometers. Is that going to be enough? To take the trophy, we'll find out as the days progress. We'll be back here this evening at 1700 local time. That's here in Poland. Join us for all the action. And you can keep following the action live on live.gordonbennett.aero. We're going to leave you with some beautiful images from the action yesterday from the drones in the sky. We'll see you later.